My name is Joachim Köster, and uh, I'm going to show two films at, uh, uh, in uh, one of the exhibition spaces. Uh, one of the films is called Of Spirits and Empty Spaces, and um, it's almost like a recreation in words of a ritual that took place in 1861, where a group of people tried to invent a new kind of sewing machine through a sort of trance ritual. They wanted to produce a different kind of sewing machine, a cheaper sewing machine that would allow especially women to buy sewing machines and make a living for themselves. And one that was really dominating the market was the one uh, built and, and invented and patented by Elias Howe. And that was why uh, sewing machines were so expensive. That was because uh, Elias Howe held the patent. So to some extent, uh, the exhibition is also about innovating, innovating something, coming up with something, finding another way of producing something, which probably is quite appropriate for San Francisco. There's also some things in that process that bears out that, that most uh, inventions are about an intention. Uh, and also that many inventions are, are like things people make up and, and, and maybe they don't know what it can be used for. When I say films, I, I mean films. These will be 16 millimeter films and you'll hear the projectors kind of, kind of uh, rattling on uh, as you approach the space. And, and film captures a lot of dust and scratches and, and uh, the projectors might, you know, run from perfect to not so perfect. And, and, and that happens and that is part of, of, of what you experience and it's there, you know, just for you. Film is inconsistent, at least when you show it, and, and I really like that a lot. You are in the space with that copy uh, and that makes the experience unique. There'll be some of the space on the actual film because there'll be dust and, and things, you know, people kind of drag with them into the space. Uh, the sound is, is really the soundtrack, so the, the soundtrack of the machine becomes the, the soundtrack of what goes on and, and very often that is enough. There's a certain urgency and a momentum to just the film going in and rolling and, and this whole apparatus that that kind of drives the narrative or whatever takes place in the image forward. And, and I think we feel a lot more than we see and perceive. And this just adds to what we feel and, and perceive on a very subtle level, almost subconscious level. A lot of what I, I deal with, how, how things materialize, how concepts become something tangible because there's very little that we think of that does not leave a trace in some way or another.